What's up, GI TV? Mark here from Airsoft GI, and this is my Tattle Gearheads from Milsom Events. So some of you may know I'm more of a Speedsoft type of Airsoft player. So the type of gear I'm going to be wearing for a Milsom event is going to differ just a bit compared to what I normally wear for pickup games. Now depending on the type of Milsom event that you're going to attend, you have to comply to their BDU regulations as well as the type of gear that you're allowed to wear. For this video, I'm going to be featuring the Lancer Tactical Gen 2 combat shirt and pants. Now the reason I run the Lancer Tactical BDUs is because of its affordability. Seeing that I don't play in Milsom games as much, I need something affordable and something I can wear right away. The Lancer Tactical Gen 2 combat shirt still contains the very breathable fabric in the center with the addition of short sleeves. Now the benefit of this allows my body to dissipate heat at a quicker rate, allowing me to play on the field longer preventing me from becoming more fatigued. Like other combat shirts, this still contains the needed pockets on the left and right side, as well as Velcro space for attaching your favorite patches. Now moving down, the Lancer Tactical Gen 2 combat pants are a different story. Normally, I run basic tactical pants, but with these pants, they have built-in hard knee pads that are also removable. Unlike traditional knee pads that wrap around your leg and constrict your leg, in addition to falling down when you're running, these built-in knee pads stay in place. Additionally, without the strap constricting around your leg, it allows for more flexibility and breathability. Just like other tactical pants, these pants also contain multiple pockets for holding any needed accessories, tourniquets, bandages, or anything you might need on the field. Now starting from the top, I am wearing a basic Airsoft GI handicap with addition of a mesh backing for better airflow. Now below my cap, we're wearing Vulcan Echo Goggles that provides full seal protection in addition to a yellow lens. Now the benefits of having a yellow lens is for better depth perception in addition to having enhanced visual clarity. In result, it is much easier to identify targets and even obstacles around you. Now to cover my lower face as well as my ears, I'm also wearing a champa or a balaclava. Now the reason I prefer to run a balaclava is to protect my face as well as my ears from dirt and debris. Now moving down, my main unit consists of the Condor Outdoor Lightweight Gunner Plate Carrier. Now not only is this plate carrier very much lightweight, but it allows for a lot of molly real estate. In the front of my plate carrier consists of the Condor Triple M4M16 open magazine pouches. Now in these magazine pouches, I normally run PTS Syndicate EPM magazines, but I have standard M4 magazines here just to fill its place. I have nothing mounted on the right side of my plate carrier for more movement, so I have space to draw my secondary if needed. On the left side of my plate carrier, I do have a Condor gadget pouch. Now the purpose of this pouch is to house my important items such as my wallet, my keys, and any other necessities I don't want to lose on the field. Behind my gadget pouch is a single pistol magazine pouch, but I don't use it for pistol magazines. It is specifically used for my multi-tools in case I would need it on the field. Towards the rear of my plate carrier, the most important part of my gear is my hydration bladder. My hydration carrier consists of a good amount of water which allows me to stay hydrated on the field. The last thing I want to do is be out of water and be dehydrated after a long day of gameplay. On my belt, I have mounted are my sidearm and two extra magazines. My sidearm consists of a KJW P26 mounted with a Surefire X300. On my left side, I do have two extra 226 magazines just in case I need it for those very close situations. Now both my sidearm and my pistol magazines are held in place by a custom Kydex holster designed by Redline Pro Gear. My last piece of equipment consists of my gloves. The gloves I am wearing are mechanics grip gloves. The palm of my hand consists of a rubber texture which allows me to properly control my rifle in addition to providing a positive sense of security when going through brush or even other obstacles. For my main primary, I am running a Lancer Tactical MMC OEM by Lonex. Lonex company has been well known providing high quality, superb aftermarket components for a wide array of airsoft guns. Now in collaboration with Lancer Tactical, they have continued to provide an affordable, reliable, and high performance setup for the airsoft market. The reason I chose the Lancer Tactical MMC is because of its lightweight and affordability. Having a polymer upper and lower receiver, in addition to a polymer front assembly, allows the gun to be much more lightweight compared to full metal rifles, but still having the durability that I need. Now, depending on the type of military event I'll be attending, I'll either swap optics or add additional accessories I need that would aid me as a shooter during the operation. Now, in cases where I do need to get really up and close in tight situations, I do have my KJW-2226. 
This allows me to quickly go around corners and to engage targets at a quicker rate that I can't do with my rifle. So this is going to conclude my Tactical Gear Heads 4 Milsom events. I hope you find this video fun and informational. Hope to see you out at future operations. I'm Mark and I'll see you guys next time. We're going to start off with my primary weapon. It's a SEMA AK-104. I've outfitted it with Zinico replica parts made by Asura Dynamics, such as the rail system up front, the foregrip, the barrel extension, the side rail mount, and the buffer tube adapter. Wow. Now moving down, I have a tactical fanny pack here. Inside I have GI BBs as well as speed loaders. So when I'm out there in the field, I can reload whenever I can with these mid caps. Now these mid caps, they're Echo One Dogs of War magazines. It's the full metal, and I like them just because of the nice realism to it.